Hi everyone, this is Heidi. I have taken a break from my Neuroscience of Awareness blog, but I'm back online. And today I'm gonna bring my favorite slide. I've been putting it in all my talks lately, and it's from Paul Gilbert. And it's the three circle kind of way to represent emotions. And one circle is threat, the threat system. One circle is blue and it's the drive system. And then one circle is green, and it's the soothing system. So I'm going to share it so you can see it. And I'm going to explain why it's important. So it's important because, let me make my video a little smaller. It's important because in our life growing up, in our school systems, like when you take a test and you get an A, when you win a soccer game, all the ways that we're often taught to resolve stress, it's usually going between this red and this blue. We, we get stressed out, then we do something about it. You know, we get stressed out, we do something about it. And it's true, some people through their religion, um, if they're taught about the importance of mindfulness, they might have some of this soothing. If they're raised in homes where there's good social engagement systems that calm each other down and the family has emotional intelligence, in those sort of households, you see the soothing system cultivated. But when you look at society as a whole, I think the missing piece is the soothing system. So I, it really, whenever I'm explaining how to go about change, and I have a slide where I talk about that Craving Mind book by Judson Brewer. It's my video where I talk about, are you a sea slug or homo sapiens sapiens, like with 86 billion neurons? His research shows that it was that intention of kindness or being in wonder and joy that caused a person's default mode network to go most quiet. So there's a lot of different research out there uh, that shows, I, this is kind of my secret tip for everyone, um, that if you wanna change and grow, it really is cultivating the soothing system um, by giving yourself kindness and by other people giving you kindness. But sometimes it has to be in a directed and meaningful way depending on where you are in the process of change. And people who are really effective leaders, they do this for themselves. And I think people who are really stuck, they're not doing this. So cultivating the soothing system, it is the secret ingredient to becoming more emotionally intelligent and to help deal with your trauma. So that's kind of my tip for the day. And I will be back here next week just to share more on different neuroscience tips.